Hi, how are you today? Today we're going to be making some puffy paint. So, um, in order to get started, you'll need a tub or something to mix your paint in. You'll need some paint, so whatever colour you like. Now I'm going to make two or three different colours, but we're going to start with the red one. We need something to stir it with, so um, I'm using some craft sticks, but you could use a spoon if you want. I have some flour, some shaving foam, and then I have some white glue, and I'm going to put that into my paint mixture. Then I'm going to use a plastic bag or a piping bag that I have to use for doing my painting. Um, you can use a plastic bag or you could use um, a Ziploc bag that you might have in the kitchen, mum might have. Or you could use um, a squeezy bottle. Uh, any of those things will work, So, we, but I'm going to use a, a piping bag. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to shake the, the shaving foam and we're going to pour, sp spray some into our tub. Now we want a big blob, about a cup full. So it's about that much in the bottom of my um, tub. It's hard to gauge, but that's about how much we need. Then we need about an eighth of a cup of flour. This is a, a quarter cup and I've got it about half full. So I'm going to tip that into my um, shaving foam. Then I need some glue and I need about a quarter cup of glue. So I'm going to pour my glue. And again, it's quite hard to measure a quarter cup of glue without getting too messy. You might need to get an adult to help you with this. But we're gonna put our glue in. And then I'm gonna add some color. So I'm gonna use one of my sticks to add my color into my puffy paint pot. And you can always add more color if you, if you need more color. So I have got my mixture in my pot and now I'm just gonna stir it up. And you can see straight away that it's kind of going a pink color. I'm going to stir this all up until I've mixed everything in. You have to make sure you mix all the flour in so that it's not lumpy when we're trying to squeeze it in our squeezy bottle or our bag. Now I've mixed it all up, I'm going to put it into my bag and I'm going to open my bag like this and I'm going to use one of my big sticks to put my puffy paint into my bag. You might find it easier to use a spoon, so you could use a spoon to do this bit. And you might need someone to help you get the paint into your bag. And now I've mixed up all my paint, put it in my bag. I put that to one side. And I'm going to squeeze my paint into my bag like that. Now I'm going to have to snip a little end off so that the air comes out and my paint goes to the bottom. Oh, there we go. And now I'm gonna get my picture and I'm gonna to start to draw with my puffy paint. So I'm, first of all, I'm gonna go around the outside of my balloon here. I'm gonna go all the way around the outside. I'm going to draw my picture. You have to gently squeeze. If you squeeze too hard, you get too much on your picture. 
And I'm going to do this little bit here. And then I'm going to do this one as well in the pink or red. And if you want it a brighter colour red, you could add more paint. I'm going to make it all... Do my little bit at the end there, and then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do the string of this balloon in pink so that they're all different. Now, I have some other colors here that I did earlier, and you can make as many colors as you like. And I'm going to paint this one, I have to snip the end off. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do my string. I'm going to do my string of this one too. Sometimes it goes a little bit funny because you get a little air bubble and it goes poof and the air comes out. And then I'm going to color this one in blue. So I'm going to draw around the outside my balloon like that. I'm going to do this little bit here and then colour in. Sometimes you have to squeeze the paint down in the bag so that it comes all the way down into the bag. See a little, little, little puff then, little puff, puff, out comes the air. And So there we have our puffy paint balloons. Now we're going to leave our puffy paint to dry. I hope you've enjoyed making puffy paint with me today. I'll see you next time.